Hello friends. I'm at St Peter's Parish in Keela East uh, at the moment. We've just celebrated the 50th uh, anniversary of the parish and the local school so you might hear in the background some kids screaming and running around and that's all lovely but I'm I'm just inside of their uh, beautiful church and you might see the image of the Holy Family behind me of uh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. And I wanted to just film in front of uh, this image, particularly of Joseph. Um, I'm filming on this weekend, which is the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. And being that beautiful feast day of St. Joseph the Worker on the 1st of May, uh, it reminds me of all of those who uh, uh, may look to their circumstances at this moment uh, uh, coming out of COVID where there's still a lot of unsurety in our, in our own circumstances uh, in Melbourne and people still are perhaps looking for work and uh, being able to work through the, their circumstances uh, so that they can, so that you, let me stop saying they, so that you might um, uh, be able to uh, effectively and carefully and with love uh, support your families. St Joseph uh, as a worker is, it's worth remembering that uh, he and Mary had to leave Bethlehem at the time of the, the persecution of Herod uh, looking to um, destroy the, the son of David, the son of God, Jesus Christ um, and had to go to Egypt. So there's something about uh, that, that's, I think, well worth our attention, that Joseph, as the, in those days, I'm sure, the breadwinner of the family, had to go to Egypt, into a foreign land, uh, speaking a foreign language, uh, needing to be able to find work so that he could support his family. Uh, and so the way in which Joseph, uh, uh, without fanfare, we don't have much fanfare about Joseph, but in goodness, in faithfulness, in perseverance, uh, he showed the way. So may St. Joseph be with all of us at this moment uh, and fill us with uh, a sense of his guardianship that we might ourselves be uh, guardians of those that we are responsible for. Until next week, every blessing to you.